Come on. We're looking for a guy named Dusty. Yeah, let me know if you find anything, okay, pig pants? Axe man, try not to go off for a poop break. Trenosaurus, hope you've been well. And butt fist, watch our backs. And... Yeah, 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 I know, we found him. Dusty and Caravaneer. Hey, you a courier? Yeah. Could use someone like you to run a package. All right, what's it got for me? Sorry, not interested. I'm always looking for more work. What's the job? Finally. Everyone here is either too busy or has a stick so far up their ass, they can't listen to you for more than five seconds without whining. Tell me about it. But I'm getting off track. I need someone to deliver a package to a friend up north in outer Vegas. He's... I guess you'd call him a leader of some folks up there, living in the outer Vegas shacks. Papillon, good guy. The package ain't too heavy, don't worry. Just a couple supplies for him and a goodwill letter. If this is a bomb, Dusty. So what do you say? You in? Dusty, I swear to God. Thank you. Seriously. Here's the package. Just tell them Dusty sent you. They'll welcome you with open arms. All right, they're going to shoot at me. Can I ask you a few questions about this uh, suicide mission, Dusty? Of course. What do you want to know? Dusty, what are you doing? I thought I thought we were friends. Why can't you do this job? I would, but NCR's got me tied up here. Some bureaucracy horse shit. But that's where you come in. Yeah. How convenient. You see... Old Prissy Major Knight in that building over there saw that I was hiring folks for jobs, and he made me fill out some paperwork. Taxes. Apparently, I didn't read the fine print, because now I'm contractually obligated under Clause 14, whatever the fuck, to stay here till this job is done. Okay. You know, I, uh, I believe you. Uh, what, what purpose do the shack serve? They're giving folks a place to stay if they lost everything on the strip and they don't want to rest up in a shithole refugee camp like Aerotech. Man, we gotta bring Breach Reach there. Could you tell me about yourself? Uh, what's your favorite color? You like pickles? Me? Uh, I ain't very interesting. But believe it or not, I'm from... Fucking drumroll please on this one. Dick Shooter Idaho. Ooh. I ain't fucking kidding. That's honest to God what it's called. Hell, they called it that before the war. You believe that shit? Idaho. Of course you don't. But you ever take a trip up north, you'll see Dick Shooter in all its <laughs> glory. Hmm. You know, I'd like a companion called Dick Shooter. Oh, you know what he does. Let's talk about something else. All right. Uh, nothing. Be seeing you. Unless I'm murdered. Well, at least we have, uh... My entire basketball team here with me. We're going to be doing some jobs, everyone. Particularly this one. Oh, right near Repcon. Nothing good ever happens at Repcon. Nothing ever good happens at Repcon. Yeah, 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 calm down. All right. We have discovered some shacks. But Fist is not the one making all that noise. Pig pants. You gotta, like, learn to vocalize so much less. All right. Goldilocks. Outer Vegas shacks. Too big. Too, too medium. Just small enough. Right? That's how it works. All right. Ooh, are we going to be fighting bosses to open these doors? What's going on here? Alright, let's go with the tiny one. Or the large one, never mind. Oh. Um. Ah, oh, shit. They sent you to finish me off, didn't they? Did Batman beat us here? That's right, you won't be getting away this time, uh, broom guy. Don't worry, I'm not here to kill you. I just want to know what happened here. Man, I'd be glad to tell you, but everything fucking hurts so bad. You got a medic or a stim pack to spare? I have so many. Here you go. Oh, I already feel better. Jeez. Where was I? 
Oh, right. How we got shot. Mm-hmm. I was helping Papillon move some supplies when we heard a big bang from one of the other shacks. We were about to go send Dean to see what was going on when two of those mercenary assholes burst in here and started shooting. They took Dean out just like that, and they hit me right down in the leg. Ooh, that's that bad, that's bad. Papillon tried to use the couch as cover, but when he popped up to shoot them, they got him in the head. God, the way he just fell to the ground. Looked like a drunk bird. I just played dead. I saw the rest of the mercs come in. They just made sure Papillon was down. Guess I was important enough to be double tapped. Toot toot. Is there anything else you remember? Uh, something that could lead us to whoever did this? Uh, yeah. When they were leaving, I remember one of the mercs called another by name. Ash. Catch him. They got pretty mad about that. <laughs> Don't talk about the boss like that. Pikachu's gonna be angry. What's with the locked shack on the right end? What's going on there, huh? Got some skeletons in there, bud? Huh? Oh, that. That was a storage shack. Get the feeling those mercs probably raided it when they slaughtered us. Probably locked it so that no one else would be able to get inside and try to loot it. Assholes. Who are you, by the way? I'm I'm Al. I'm my name's the Crier. Me? That's me. I'm Danny. Don't worry, I don't have a very interesting life story to tell you. Just a nobody, really. Just a nobody really but Danny, won't you be my friend? Will you be alright? You need any help? Yeah, I'll be fine. I just need to rest a bit. That shit you gave me really did help though. Thanks. Yeah, sorry, uh, sorry I messed up your body texture and all that though. Alright. And hey, just be careful. They kind of booby trapped the shacks on the way out. You will hear me die. Alright, Danny? Danny, don't go outside. Do not go outside. But fist, let this man sit down. Dean Carver. Always carried an empty whiskey bottle on him. That way he could take it to the ghost realm where there's unlimited alcohol. Yeah, yeah, pig pants. Yeah, yeah, yes, I know. Stop sniffing behind there. Oh no! Annette. Oh, how could they? Connor. Oh, dressy dress, no. Oh. You will be remembered, dress dress. Oh, you were a poor soul. Alright, so we're supposed to return back to Dusty. But, uh, let's see if we can get into this other shack. Hello? Oh, I forgot about the traps. <laughs> Axeman is losing oh, his Oh no, Trenosaurus, pig pants, you're fine. Okay. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I know. Doppelganger Trudy. Sue, oh, I'm sorry, your legs probably weren't blown off before this, but they definitely are now. I apologize. Oh, Sue, I'm sorry. All right, there's got to be a key for this place somewhere, right? I'm just going to take everything. Axeman crapped himself. What's the matter, crap man? Trenosaurus, I'm, uh, I'm going to help you, okay? Give you a stim pack. Gonna give you a little sneeze. There you go. Oof. Yeah. I got sneeze powers. All right. Maybe we'll. Uh, maybe we get sent back here later. Oh, maybe I have to uh, murder. I can't murder. Can't murder this fine soul. Can't murder Danny. I love Danny. Danny, do I have any? Uh. No. Danny, we're gonna get you some, some new digs. This isn't all gonna be bad. I'm just rechecking everyone. Dusty, what are you doing? He's sending us on a wild goose chase here, buddy. Yeah? 
Uh, I'm sorry, there's only bad news. Mercenaries shot up the shacks, and there's only one survivor. Oh no, Dusty. <laughs> oh no. Don't go after Danny. What the fuck? Wait, was that like... Did... Who's the survivor? Who the hell did this? I'm about to lose my fucking mind. Alright, calm down, Dusty. Jesus, man. Danny was the survivor. He overheard that one of the mercs was named Ash. 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 I swear to fucking God I've heard that name here at the outpost before. Well, maybe we need some more clues. Ask my buddy Weiss over there. Certainly knows a lot more than I do, having a 200-year career in merc work. Oh, is he a ghoul? Or is it just the most elderly man in the game? Even beyond Mr. House. Weiss? I'm... I, 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 is, it, is it Weiss? You need something. Never mind, Weiss. Sorry. Who are you? I'm Weiss. Oh. And I've been around for far too long. Well... Sorry, life is is pain for you. You know any mercenaries named Ash, bud? Look, I'm on the job. Ash? That's gotta be Ash Anderson. He's a local here. Worked with him on a job in California not too long ago. Super evil. You know where he can be found? I have to murder him. Mm, nope. Just that he's from the Mojave. I did see him here at the outpost not too long ago. Probably checking in from the Long 15. You should find a way to look at the logbook over there in the Outpost HQ. Ooh. When that basket case Knight isn't holding on to it, that's usually Mundy who's archiving the records. You might be able to swipe it from him. If you're clever enough, you could swipe it from him. Find a way to get the logbook from Corporal Mundy. Excuse me, Corporal Mundy, I, uh... Baked you this delicious blueberry pie. Sir? Sir? Where are you from, Mundy? Born and raised in Baja. It's a tough region. A lot of ranger vets are stationed there. Tell me about it. Specifically? I'm from Zaka. I know. Little it. town to the no, east no. of Salada. Okay. Actually, that's one of the biggest dry lakes in the region. Ooh. <laughs> we used to go out there as kids and play bandits and soldiers. Funny stuff. Mind if I take a look at the logbook over there? What do you do here? Oh, yeah, uh, two things. Jack and shit, that's what. Oh, you. Yeah. Turns out being assigned to the outpost is a conviction to a life of boredom. Well, I hear you, Corporal, you know? I'm just living my life. You mind if I take a look at that logbook? You know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't mind if I did that, because, you know, whatever. Uh... Why? Oh, Corporal Mundy, we are, we're, you know, do I look like someone who'd steer you wrong, bud? I come in here, I start a conversation, you start getting suspicious. Uh, no, not really. Exactly. Look, I'm sure you've got your reasons for this. Just don't go getting Knight's panties into a twist over this. Keep it to yourself, okay? No promises, okay, Mundy? Thanks, though. Oh, I get to go to West Side. Jerry Christensen, Refugee Lake, Havasu, Arizona, Ash Anderson, Merck, West Side. Oh, yeah. Breach Reach Program, take them out. Also, we had the Breach Reach Program come through again. I think they've done a wonderful job. I know someone's still breaking bottles, but besides that, West Side's looking clearer, mainly due to no newspapers on the floor. Oh my god. Am I supposed to jump through this door? This is like a, uh, a baby cage for a hotel room. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna go in. You sneak your way through the tiny bars. Freeze, old man. You don't look like a typical West Side asshole. Hey, man. Do you need something from me? Jesus, Ash. God. Are you a merc? What are you doing here? Can you tell me what happened with you and the other mercs? Um, are you a merc? What are you doing here? I'm retired, okay? That doesn't mean I couldn't wreck your shit, though. Oh, uh, okay. I'm just out of the mercenary game. Too dangerous for a face like this. Ash, tell me what happened at those shacks. <laughs> Outer Vegas? Man, that was a nasty job. I'd rather not. Gave me even more reason to retire. 
Looks like I'll have to rip it out of your cold, lifeless body. I've got a hundred caps right here that are waiting to have a conversation with you. You seem pretty lonely here, knowing to take care of you. Was it worth it retiring to avoid that stuff? You lick your lips. Let's talk about something else. Pretty please? Quit the tough guy act before I show you what a real killer can do, you fucking pansy. You rip a phone book in half. Um... Ooh, you know what? Let's give him 100 caps. Let's help Ash out. <laughs> I like your style. Look, I, I don't keep records or anything like that, but if you really want to know more, go find Goldsmith. He's another merc. Lives outside of Novak. Good guy. He's a bit of a character, so you're bound to get something good out of him. Oh boy, Goldar. Hope that helped. And thanks for the caps. No worries. See you later. Goodbye. See you later, Ash. Thanks for the help. Sorry I barged in here. It's a beautiful apartment you have. No bathtub. That's okay, though. Ooh, look at this. This is lovely. And a safe. My God. Must have been Goldar or Goldsmith or one of the Goldstein boys. Goldar or Goldstein, someone stole our toys. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, this is a very nice little house he's got here. I would be wary of this road, though. This is Murder Alley. Is that where, uh... No, there's an NCR base over there, right? Yeah, Ranger Station Charlie. Still, though. Oof. No bueno. I'm hiding my house. I'm putting a facade over it. I tried a facade, not a facade. Hey, Goldsmith? Oh, no. Goldsmith, no. I can't believe you've done this. I'm stealing your treasures. Empty, empty beer bottles. Oh, no, this one's good. All right, let's see what exactly happened, Goldsmith. Goldsmith's password, nice. Something Maria will never read. Every day I think about her and how badly I messed up. Turns out the commitment I made wasn't so simple after all. My wounds still haven't fully healed, and I'm not sure they ever will. I was convinced we would go on and live the rest of our lives together. I know the whole, I've changed, baby, and I swear it'll work this time. Shtick is a complete cliche, and something she'd see right through. But I just wish I could have had some sort of second chance, or if we could find a way for me to get help. I know I have a problem, and it's what all my caps usually end up going towards which was probably my biggest downfall. Sometimes I just wish I wasn't me. I'm so sorry, Maria. Oh, oh, what are you, what are you doing, Goldsmith? I'm sorry. I miss New Reno a lot. Sure, it may have gotten subtly worse over the past few years, but it's such a dense city, if that makes any sense. Everywhere you turn, there's something to do, something to see. Whoa, look at that, it says stand with chocolate. But now that I'm alone, broke, and almost out of jobs, I'm not buying chocolate. I gotta stick my ass out in the middle of nowhere. Ain't no chocolate here. Sure, there's Vegas miles to the north, but they're two very different cities. I don't know if I could ever feel at home there. Mercs. Oh, is this the name of all the Mercs? Oh, and four pages. Ash Anderson's a very worrying person. I've known him for such a long time, my voice changed. I know what he's really like under that facade. Hey, facade, what's up? I'll never understand why he puts it on, because one day it's just going to get him killed. It's not very believable, either. But the voice he has, I'm not exactly one to be talking, but I still feel like I have a right to be concerned for his future. I can't keep feeding his ego in these letters. Someone needs to have a sit-down intervention. Maybe I can become that West Side Place's very first therapist. Oh, once that's done, I'm sure he can come around and be a class act to others. All I have to do is become the first psychologist in this town. Oh, man, I'd watch that movie. Rattle told me a while ago that Georgette ended leaving the Mojave. Quite frankly, I don't blame her. With everything that's going on with the Legion and the NCR, I've had enough about all this garbage going on. I'm getting out of here. Hell, it's not even just the two main war wagers. You only have to look at some of my recent jobs to see how evil can root up on its own in places you wouldn't expect. That aside, Georgette never really stood out to me. She came in, did her job, and got going. Never knew her more than that. Three, I'm very glad I cut off contact with Francine Hunter. If Maddox is making me an emotional mess, Psycho's making her a psychotic mess. It is it is in the name, after all. I suppose we're all lucky that she's secluded herself, though. 
Let the Legion mess her up for all I care. The world will be much better off. She's crazy to be living that close to their territory. But hey, maybe that cliff will collapse and the Colorado will swallow her up. Jeez. God, Francine. What did you do? Um... Vice, Weiss, is one of the reasons why ghoul haters shouldn't be so quick to judge. He's seen a lot in his time, and you can tell it's made him a better person. I haven't heard much from him lately, so I hope everything's all right. <gasps> if anything, he's on he's the only one that truly appreciates my little obsession with mailing letters. Don't know if that's from his work as a courier, God knows how long ago, or if it's out of respect from the old world way of doing things. I just like writing, books, and all that other jazz. Self-admitted freak who can't let go of the past. Ha ha! Five fuck Johnny. Johnny, you son of a bitch. All right, we got to go talk to Ash, I think. I do believe. Oh, never mind. We're following Francine. Oh, man. Now we have to meet this... This horrible lady. I wanted to talk to my friend. But now I'm taking down geckos. Poorly. Okay, one of these, one of these is gonna work. Okay, that's a shotgun from very far away. Okay. I, I'm hit. You know what? You know what? I'm, I don't care. You live your damn life. Oh, oh no, we got a battle going. Oh, son of a... I need help. I need help. I need help. The Kaisar has marked oh, no. you for death, and the Legion obeys. Ready yourself for battle. Oh, who do I attack first? I'm being attacked. There's a gecko behind me, lighting me on fire. I shot the messenger. Oh, geckos. Gecko Jesus, not the day. And no, never mind, it is the day. <laughs> oh, here they come, here they come. If I can outrun them, they'll go away. All right. Oh, God. Just don't talk to them. Are we fighting all of them now? Are they pissed? Oh, they're pissed. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Man. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, pig pants. Are you okay? Oh. Trinosaurus. No. <laughs> Trinosaurus. <laughs> no, Trent. Oh, God. Trinosaurus, God rest your soul. You beautiful man, I'm sorry. I'm taking your grenades. Oh, we'll, we'll be back later to bring you back, bud. Yeah, yeah, dig, dig the whole hole. I, uh, keep forgetting some of my companions can die. Pig pants, you better watch your butt. Isolated shack. Airbnb review of zero. Sorry, Francine. Are you ready to fucking die? Oh, I was gonna talk, but... Slow down, criminal scum. I'm here to take you in. Oh, yeah? Just because I helped that hard-ass escape from the shacks doesn't mean I'm a criminal. Those fuckers hide good up north in the caves near the passage. Oh. Shit, did I just say that out loud? Whatever. Time for you to die. Francine, we, we, we could take you in for some questioning. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Francine, I wanted to talk. Instead, I used my, my melee. Or I farted? What happened? I don't know what the hell's going on. Did I shoot? Oh, my God. I can shoot my gun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I have melee hits activated as O. So that's why <laughs> I immediately punched her in the face. Francine's audio log. 
Oh, you got three of them, Francine. Francine, look. I didn't want to go to your live journal, but here we are. Francine's live journal. Man, it feels good not to be on that stuff anymore. That treatment from the NCR Docky Nelson really did help. <laughs> Don't know who I'm really making these for. Maybe the Legion will come by and sell me into slavery after hearing these. In which case, fuck you guys. She got us. But yeah, not like I've got anything better to do. Heard that there's someone making a job to go kill some dudes in some shack or something. Weird. If the flyer in town holds true, then it'll have a nice pay. Might have to check it out. Killing dudes in a shack. It was a job, so I took it. Man, what the fuck is going on lately? First, the Legion takes Nelson. And then, good God, that job in Outer Vegas. Ah! That was some fucked up shit. I got paid, though, yeah. so... I really don't got any right to complain, do I? Oh, no. Felix told me that I'd get a bonus if I hid that hard ass in a cave near the northern passage to the Utah. So of course I agreed. No pig pants. It's a bit of a hassle, but I got caps in the hands. So oh, run pig pants! Okay, right? Some psycho sounds very... Very nice right about now. I know I shouldn't be doing it, but man. I gotta see if I can buy some from those pots. Like, what is going on over there? Oh my god, I was trying not to shoot because I wanted to hear the audio lag. <laughs> okay, Pig Pans are still there. That bo guy's body is moving all around. We got him. Don't worry, everyone. We got him. Jeez, and crackers. <laughs> he had a pistol in his head. Oh, no. Oh, really? You don't say, game. And we got number three. How far away? Yeah, okay. Probably shouldn't have been walking this one. All right, we'll listen to it after we get to H&H. &H. <laughs> Oh no. Was she fighting puppets? Ready to wake up for the morning, the morning attack. Got my knife just in case there's a whole gaggle of creatures out there waiting to murder me. Oh, and you did make eye contact with the Cazador. Okay, you are running towards it for some unknown reason. There's a ca gigantic Cazador in front of you that you're running towards and it is now behind you and you're dead okay <laughs> i had a pipe i thought i was gonna do a thought it was gonna be successful you know you brought a pipe to a casador fight yeah and pig pants and axe man all right testing facility x710 Alright. Ready to fight some robots, some ghouls. Possibly none of those. Let's see what we got. Maybe tiny spiders that sound metallic. That's another possibility. Or, ooh, we got sentry bot. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Oh, my legs. Oh no. <laughs> I need help. I need help. Okay. Okay. Just a second. Oh, pig pants. Pig pants. Don't go down there. All right. Trent is dead. I'm sorry, Trent. Stop engaging. We're not ready for this commitment. Okay. Oh my god. That sentry bot came around that corner like a million 
miles an hour. Oh, is there a friendly? Nope, there is not. Oh god. Oh my god. Okie dokie. Just chuck some grenades down there. Got some mines here. Alright, everyone shut your mouth. Come over here. Ignore any enemies if they come out. Why, wow, who's having a picnic? Oh, never mind. That's who's having a picnic. Oh, they're gonna blow it. We've got to blow the whole place. Need to take it out. My name is Robert Christian Alred, and I've witnessed the crimes here being conducted at this facility firsthand. My voice changed. While I may just be another storage coordinator, that does not mean I'm blind to the inhumanity displayed here at the state-sponsored scientist's facility, ACX710. That's that's what it was, X710. October 23rd, right before the bombs dropped. Um, I will cut the power to the X10, X710 facility and plant this explosive I have created myself above the door to the testing labs, causing the only entrance and exit to the facility to be caved in. These pathetic excuses for humans will be trapped inside of their clubhouse with no way to contact the outside world. I've already killed one security guard who discovered what I was doing and disposed of his body properly. Those that are complacent to these crimes must die as well. Even Susan, the nice lady who works in the biology department. She has to be stricken from the record. Jesus Christ, man. Oh! So that mean? Oh wait, pig pants, pig pants, get over here. Puff fist, don't go over there. 